Ms. Beto, you say you were furious when the defendant asked you for a DNA test on your seven-month-old daughter, Ileana. Yes. Now you claim that request has broken up your happy home. <laughs> Mr. Bolton, you state you have reason to believe Ms. Beto's child may not be your biological daughter. You say you are desperate to discover the truth because you've already grown to love her as your own. That's right. Mr. Bolton, this is not your first time in this courtroom. That's right. Here's what happened previously. So how convinced are you now that Mr. Bolton is? I'm very convinced, because I only slept with three men at that time. If he is mine, I will step forth and do a hundred, hundred and ten percent, even better. I actually got myself involved in this young man's life. Most men wouldn't. I'm actually taking him on the weekends when it's available. When it comes to four-year-old Micah, Mr. Bolton, you are not his father. Mr. Bolton, so what has happened since you were last here? Since last time I was in court, I was very devastated to find out the news about the young boy not being mine. But in the same sense, I was happy because Ms. Beto was pregnant with a child. A child was supposed to be mine. See, Your Honor, here's the thing. When the baby was born, I cut the umbilical cord, the doctors wiped the baby off, and they gave Miss Beto the baby at first. She was still fatigued from delivering birth. Understandably. So they gave me the baby. The doctor that uh, gave the procedure to deliver the baby, he handed me the baby and he looked at me. He said, are you sure this baby's yours? <laughs> and I looked what? at the doctor. I looked at the doctor. I'm like, what do you mean? He said, because this baby's white. <laughs> I'm looking at him like, what do you mean this baby's white? Jerome, so, have you ever heard of such? But That's a first for me. This is the reason. This is the reason. Let me see your evidence. That's a picture of... This is, the, this is a picture of Ileana when she was first born. And when the doctor made that comment, this is the reason why we're here right there. Okay, Your Honor, let me just say this. We are... Uh, uh, that was stupid. We're mixed. I'm Dominican and black. He's Puerto Rican and black. People in my family have different color eyes. My eyes are hazel. My father's eyes are green. He told me that when he was a young boy, when he was a, a baby, as a matter of fact, his eyes were blue and then they turned green. So I don't see where the doubt is. The doubt began because people continuously said, oh, she's white. Oh, my God, she's so white. Oh, she's so white. What's wrong with that? Well, when the doctor asks you, Look, I... you know, before congratulations, are you sure this is your child? That's doubt. That's they doubt. She mine, I know. She his, I know. But that's what I'm saying. For the father, that can be overwhelming. It can be overwhelming. It can be overwhelming. But you have to know your mate. And if you know that you have a loyal, faithful, loving woman, then anything anybody say... So, Mr. Go Bolton, one did you other. know you had a loving, faithful, loyal woman? I did, but that's the relationship. I mean, if you look at the baby, the baby's, man, the baby's white. So Why? until Doesn't you like were it. in the delivery room, you had no doubts about Ms. Beto. You didn't no, feel I, like she was cheating. I didn't have any doubts until the first, the doctor said something. When we brought Ileana home from the hospital, we had friends and family come over to see the baby. Then looking at the baby, like, oh, she's beautiful. She's beautiful. Is she yours? <laughs> That's not what they said, Your Honor, what they were saying, maybe on his side, but my side, they did make some comments, but of course I defended, that's my daughter, you know? Yep. So I see him all the time in her. I see a little bit of my features, but mostly I see him. Your Honor, maybe two weeks when Eliana came home, the same boss that we work for, we both work for him, he came to the house and brought a stroller to the home as a gift. And he's from Alabama, you know, he's you know, country guy, you know? But he looked at the baby, and he's like, Rico, is this baby yours? I look at him like, what you mean? He says, this is baby's whack. <laughs> so yeah. I'm like, wow. So now the doctor, your family members, people and your public, boss yeah, people in public, are all just openly asking you. Yeah, this is baby mine. Even when I go to the grocery store, Your Honor, when I go to the grocery store, they're looking at me, oh, it's a beautiful baby. She's gorgeous. Is she yours? No. And it's only because she's... Skin color, the blue eyes, you know, it's like, wow, but... 
But how come I mean, nobody say that when I'm around? Even still, you know, this is this this has like happened before in my life. This 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 situation here is like when I was young, I was dating a stripper, and she had a baby. All right, she disappeared. What reason I don't know. But when she finally came back, we figured out that baby wasn't mine. Got my name off the birth certificate. Finally, second time this has happened in my life. A young lady got pregnant, but come to find out. She was dealing with somebody that I knew. She didn't know we knew each other. She got pregnant. We talked. We, me and the guy, we talked, and we trying to find out what's going on. She had abortion immediately because she didn't know who the father was. And the third time was when I came on the court to find out the DNA test from Micah and found out he wasn't mine. So it's like I have strong reason to get a DNA test to figure out what's going on. So in your lifetime. Three times. Yes, ma'am. Someone has claimed you're the father of their child. Yes, ma'am. But you weren't. I wasn't. And now you're here again. So, Ms. Beto, you tell me you're a faithful, loyal woman, and I have no reason at this point not to believe you. He hasn't presented any testimony that would say otherwise. However, I have to ask you, during the last couple of years, how old is Ileana? She's seven months. Last year and a half or so, have you slept with anybody else? Um, we actually broke up last year around August, and it was due to infidelity on his behalf. Well, Your Honor, she was accusing and me the whole time that I was cheating. I got a couple of buddies he I was. hang out with before. I got a couple of buddies I hang out with. They do things on the side. Your Honor, now, I saw the text from the females. With that, being with them, I'm getting accused daily. So it's like I felt like I was pressured, getting pushed to the point where I should cheat just to make you happy. Because this is what you're doing. You that put was pressure your on your logic? Yes. That was, that, I mean, that was my logic because every day she's saying, hey, you're a cheater, you're a cheater. So look, I cheated, I did, and I admit to that. She left. She, she left. She wanted to go stay your with her. Your Honor, he didn't admit to cheating. I saw the texts from the female, all right? And I confronted him like a woman should. Is, is she I, I'm going to gonna confront. I'm going to confront. And when I found the information, and me and the woman, we also talked because I she, believe that a man will lie to you. Well, anyone that's going to play that deceitful role is going to make you believe whatever. So I talked to the woman, and I yeah. believe her. But and she, I gave him a chance when to she tell left, his she, story. She left, she had sex with I gave guy. him an op That's you know right. I didn't sleep with somebody, but I did it the right way. I left you first. I was single. Hey, well, Yana. And during the time you broke up and you left him, did you sleep with someone else yes, without using protection? I did. I did. I did. And let me tell you, it wasn't like that. I left him and it wasn't like, oh, hey, I'm single. Let's go party. You know, it was more like I was hurt. It had been a month later. I just went out hanging out, and um, one thing led to another. I saw a guy I liked, but we actually slept yeah, together twice. Honor, the first time was unprotected, the second time was protected, and after that, as a matter of fact, um, I spoke to him after that, but we never Honor, had any type of relationship or anything. She wasn't answering my phone calls for a while. After, you know, I, Why should I, I? I cheated on her, okay? So now we're working on something, trying to get back together. When we finally get back together, this is when she's admitting that, yeah, I slept with somebody. Your Honor. Because at first she says it's none of my business when I want to go see her. Exactly. Now, she, now she's telling me out of mouth, okay, Your this Honor, is what happened. He continues and so to me about it. She's admitted in open court mm -hmm. that she slept with someone else one time at least was without protection. Right. And Mr. Bolton, you believe that this man could be the father. Yeah. But in the midst of this, she's still going out there to her family's house, doing their hair. Coming back home, and guess what? Middle of the night, I pick up the phone. Text messages from this guy. So I have reason to believe, like, okay, you tell me you stop messing with him, I still think that you're still with him. You saw still text with him. Your Honor, he saw text I mean, messages even, from the guy. He never saw me respond. It even goes to the point like and this. And then I did. She, do, she delete pictures out the phone, you know what I'm saying? Because when you plug a, a, a phone into a laptop, the USB charger, the backup pictures are still in the phone. Pictures of him and his baby are still there, together. So I'm like, whoa, this, what's going on? Oh, pictures of him picture. and... His baby. And his baby yeah. are in her phone. In her phone. And it looks like this. His daughter looks like my daughter. Wow. So... I mean, but how often is it that babies can look alike? But, but Your Honor, <laughs> I just want to show you this evidence right here. Let me see that evidence, sir. But I don't think she looks like the other man's baby. Okay. That's Ileana, and that's me. Ileana's pink, Caucasian, white... And you see me. Really? I'm brown. No blue eyes. I mean, the only thing I see is a nose. If he felt like that, Your Honor, why stay for seven months? Why 
even take care of her? Why sign the birth certificate? Why is it that every time I call you, you run to her? If you felt like that, you should have been said that. You don't wait seven months later and then tell somebody like that. We supposed to get married and everything. What you mean? Yeah, but when he told me that, we were in the bed and the first thing he said to me is, oh, you know, I love you, right? Like, you know somebody gonna say something messed up after they say something like that. And then after that, I don't even know how we got to it. All I know is he was like, oh, I don't think she's mine. I want a DNA test. And yeah, I lost it and I wanted him to get out. So we got to Look, arguing no, and I was like, either me, I'm going to leave out. or you're going to leave. Yeah, you're right. I she did kick you out because I told him either I'm going to leave and go to my family, which is far from them. He was like, no, I don't, I, I don't want y'all to be that far from me, but she not yours, right? You do understand that after you admitted you slept with somebody else, that fueled his doubts. I understand that. But you can't always be moved, Your Honor, by what other people say. You have to stand upon what you see as a person. A lot of people felt like he wouldn't make it, we wouldn't make it, we wouldn't be okay. And yeah, we're going through something right now. And even him as a person, people felt like they didn't believe in him. But I believe in him. I believe in him still to this day. I believe that, you know, he is a good man and he is a good person. Your Honor, when I first asked about the DNA test, she was really, like, really upset. Yeah, she I went She did crazy. kick me out. She did do that. But since I'm staying at other places, I come home to the house just check on my daughter, make sure everything's okay. She tells me, put her down if you don't think she's yours. Okay? Yeah, so of like, course. Every time I I'm see like, your face, I'm gonna get mad. I'm, like, I'm mad now. Why did you get upset? <laughs> I'm just saying, she's, okay, she's a loyal though. female, like she said earlier. If it was such of a problem, why did you catch an attitude when I asked for a DNA test? And you knowing that I went to court last time. Who wouldn't have an attitude when you know for a fact that you've been faithful? Hey. Why not? Let me look okay, at you. Okay, so, fine. Ms. Beto, it's not just about you being faithful. You have to take a person along with their life experience. That's so. Who, no, no, hold on. When you're in a relationship, that's how people come. Everybody has their own baggage, or as my my granny used to say, that's his red wagon, and you got that. your own red I wagon. I understand that, Your that's Honor. That's the things you pulling behind you when you that. come into a relationship. I'm not saying that is right, Ms. Beto, yeah. but I'm telling you that is real. I understand that, Your Honor. Here's the thing, right? When she left, her and this other guy was messing around. When she came back around, we was living together, okay? And I feel like, you know, maybe she's still been messing with this guy. Because all of a sudden, like she said, we've been together five years. It's the first time she ever got pregnant. She's coming back around, boom, baby. I'm like, what's going on? All right, so, so the that... timing felt strange to you as well. Yes, ma'am. So... I've witnessed so much emotion, and, and that's because I know the stakes are really high today. You even submitted a video, and uh, it really shows how committed he is to her. <laughs> what she want to say? Say hello. Bye-bye. See y'all later. I love Ileana. Ever since she was born, you know, I've always been there. From the time she got pregnant, the day in labor, the hospital. Now, I just really want to be a father to, to this child here. I've been there since day one. The baby You're shower. You're worried, still. I, I am. Just because, yeah, my past and, you know, just... And the last time you were in like court? The, science, the last time I was in court, I mean, you know, came out not yours. But the signs are there, so many people saying it. I need to be sure. And that's, that's, that's what's so heartbreaking about this situation. I understand about people's past. Everybody has a past. Stop pushing rewind. Stop making other people pay for what other women did. I'm not, a, I'm not those women. If I was like that, then I shouldn't be with anybody because just like you hurt me and think about the five years we've been together, Mr. Bolton, the things that you've done to me before this, that wasn't the only infidelity. But every time you have a doubt, here I am proving myself. Why you signed the birth certificate? Why did you stay so long and then turn around and say, oh, she's not mine? Do you have any idea how that hurts? Of course I'm going to flip out. Mm. I don't hurt you like that. And even when you hurt me, you know that I find the strength to still say something to encourage. <laughs> Whose choice is it ultimately? It's his choice. Yep. And who has to do that work? He does. Exactly. So let's get to the results. In the case of Beto v. Bolton, when it comes to the paternity of 
Ileana Bolton. And as to whether Mr. Bolton is her biological father, it has been determined by this court. Mr. Bolton, you are her father. Oh, uh, que yo dice? But what I tell you. Your Honor, can I ask Ms. Dillo a question? Yes, you may. But you don't got no questions for me. Everything speaks for itself, because that's what you told me. Actions. Oh. <laughs> Gotta say yes. Lola, I do, Will you me? Yes. This is beautiful to see. I'm very happy for you. Marriage takes work, and I want you all to do it. That's fine. So happy for you. Court is adjourned.